Okay, I just wanted to take a couple of minutes and show you how you can make your discussion boards or your discussion board responses just a little more visually pleasing to the eye. So here I am in our first discussion board. Here was my hello post. And if I scroll down to where it says reply and I hit reply, this is what pops up, okay? If you want, and this, if this is too small for you, down here in the corner, you can click on this and it'll extend it for you. It'll just give you some more space. So as you're typing, you can see what you're typing. Pretty cool. And so if I were to hit, you know, hi, whoops, I have my all caps on, sorry. Hi, April, love your cats. Whoops. <laughs> okay, um, so I just typed that in, but it's just kind of bland and boring. Um, if you want, you can just highlight it all. And then you can come over to right here where the A is and it says select color. And uh, Brightspace has a lot more colors to choose from now. They made this change this semester or last semester. Anyway, um, red's my favorite color, so I'll just click on red. You can make it lighter, you can make it darker, you know. You do have to be careful though because sometimes people can't see red if they're colorblind. Um, also, if the red is too light, it'll let you know. So I click on that and poof, it's red. Um, I also like to bold my stuff. I usually hit bold and bold it all. There you go. Um, if you want to add a link to something, like if I wanted to add um, my YouTube, YouTube link, anytime you want to insert anything in here, you click on here, it says insert stuff. <laughs> so you can click on that and you can enter something from YouTube, from Flickr, you can actually type in a link or copy and paste a link from somewhere else. Um, so you can put those kinds of things in there. You still, where's the part? I, I put pictures in here. Let's see. Um, oh, and the three dots, if you click on that, no, not the three dots, sorry. If you click on the three dots, it kind of hides that lower level stuff. So if you click on it, they show up. Um, this right here always tells me if what I'm typing and what I'm doing is visual to students. It says accessibility checker. If I click on that, oh, it's telling me because I bolded it. It says it looks like a heading. I usually just ignore that. Ignore that. Oh, wait. Sorry. Text must have a contrast ratio of at least four to five to one. So apparently my contrast is wrong. Okay. So my red was a little too light. I'm gonna go back in and click a darker red. How about that one? And save and doot. And there you go, no issues whatsoever. Thank you. Um, now for the equation editor, this one's kind of hidden. Um, it's right here. It says other insert options. And here's the equation editor and I want to put in a graphical equation and it opens up and then you just click on here and let's say I wanted to type in the equation 2x plus 5 equals 7 and then just insert it and there it is. Um, fractions is where this is really helpful because a lot of times people want to type in two-thirds and they just type it like that, it doesn't, it doesn't have a very visual appealing to me. So if I click on the equation editor, graphical equation, it gives me options. If I click on the little box, right here is fraction, there it goes, two thirds. Insert, and now you can see, where did it go? There it is, <laughs> take a minute. It just looks more user friendly when you type fractions like that. Same thing with exponents. It really, it's really kind of annoying when people type two and then they use that little symbol to the third power equals eight. It just doesn't look very good. 
So I go up to the equation editor, graphical equation, and then I click on the box, and then I type 2, and then I hit this, and it gives me an exponent. And then I type the 3 in there. Then I have to arrow back down before I hit equals 8, and then insert, and you can see the difference. It just looks more mathematically pleasing to the eye. Um, so you can mess around with that as far as typing in fractions, exponents, and things like that. And if if you're feeling really um, sorry, words not coming to me. <laughs> you really want to mess with it. Let's say I typed in the fraction two thirds. Whoops, sorry. Scroll down three, um, and then x, and then minus three fraction. Oh, they can do mixed numbers. Um, didn't mean three. Put the fraction in there. 3 over 7, and then equals, I don't know, 9. Oh, sorry. Got to remember to scroll over to get out from under the fraction. Um, if you wanted to and you wanted to put this in color, you can highlight it all. And then over here where that letter A is, it gives you some options. Not as many as the standard bright space does, but, you know, I can put them all in blue. I can bold them. Um, I can put it in italicized. It doesn't look much different, but, and you can also change the font size. Where is it? There's the font. You can change it. I like Tahoma and the font size. You can make it huge if you want and then insert it. And there it goes. So that's just some things I wanted to show you about the discussion boards. Um, you know, it takes a little getting used to, but it can make a difference when I am reading your discussion board. If it is all black and it's hard to read, and I start falling asleep, so will your peers. So add a little color, use the equation editor to make your fractions and your exponents look a little bit better. Um, and you'll notice that your, you know, your grade might go up. <laughs> I mean, it'll, it'll make a difference when I'm looking at it and trying to figure out, what are you saying? Um, so anyway, that's just um, a little bit for you. Uh, if you need to make lists, you know, you can put in bullets, numbered lists. You can increase things, decrease indents. Uh, you can underline things. If I wanted to underline, love your cats, I can underline it. Um, those are standard things. So anyway, that's just a quick video. And I hope that you will utilize some of these things in your next discussion board um, that you will be doing more interacting with your peers because you are going to have to solve an equation in Mobius. Come in here and type up your work and you need to show all your work. Okay, so let me know if you've got any questions.